Hi guys, welcome to another video. So last year we tested the auto lane change when we blocked the sensors in case there was some ice or some mud on it. Whoa! Okay, I think that's a definite answer. Wow. Okay, that's that's dangerous. Now this year we have the autopilot that has the, enabled the side cameras and we're going to test it again and see how much safer it has become in the meantime. So the first attempt here is going to set our baseline. That means that I'm going to have to get next to the car and then when I'm next to it, I'm going to uh, use the auto lane change and see what happens there. Okay, so here, auto lane change on, it turns red, it slows down a little bit, I need to accelerate, and when I accelerate enough, then the car basically passes the other car. So it's as simple as that, um, not much more that needs to be said about this. So now that we've set the baseline, the first thing we need to do is look up our good friend MacGyver and use duct tape to tape off the side cameras. And let's see what happens then. Um, I am expecting uh, the car to give the same error message that I've been getting uh, for uh, a couple of months now on a regular basis. And that is that the surrounding of the car is not visible or cannot be estimated or something and auto lane change will be disabled. But let's see if it really does that. Okay, so before we go any further, I want to make one thing clear, do not try this at home, right? I'm a professional in that case, I'm testing this for you guys, but I made very good arrangements with um, the guy that I'm testing this with. So we know exactly what we're doing, we're not creating any dangerous situation whatsoever, and we know from each other what the intention is. Um, but yeah, so with the camera taped off, you get the autopilot functions or limited message. Uh, it's a little bit different than the one I was expecting, but still autopilot is working. Uh, it's just that you're not able to do the lane change anymore. And this is exactly what I was hoping for, um, that at least the autopilot needs assistance from the cameras. Um, the next thing we are going to do is see if we tape off the sensors whether that has any other effect all right so that went more or less as expected it's a different uh, error message but still you're not able to use the auto lane change uh, when the cameras are taped off the question is now when we tape off the ultrasonics is that also going to give an error message or is it going to be able to do it on cameras alone or is it going to try to do it on cameras alone and it's just a dangerous situation. Let's find out. So now you can clearly see that the sensors on the right hand side are completely taped off. So if we walk to the back, it's the same here. So the car is basically blind in terms of ultrasonics on the right side. Now, let's see what the car can do or can't do and how safe it has become in the meantime and whether there's been a change. Last time, with this situation, the car is driving straight into the car next to me. Let's hope it uses the cameras now as an additional safety so we don't get a 300,000 euro collision. Now the first thing I notice is that it doesn't see the cars on the right side anymore. So that's a good thing. That means that we taped off the sensors just right. The question is, will it actually allow me to um, yeah, basically do the, the lane change. So this is the situation where your car is dirty, uh, there's some ice, mud, snow covering the ultrasonics, and you want to use the auto lane change. So the cameras are free, the ultrasonics are not. So lane change to the left, no problem. Okay, I'm going to overtake him. Not too fast though, like so. 
okay next to him lane change it is blocking the car it is blocking the car it is still blocking the car or the lane change and now it's doing that okay so that means that the lane change is now predominantly done by the uh, ultrasonics so I signaled the guy my partner here in crime to uh, pass me again so we can try that again okay so let's see if we can do that again so I'm gradually catching up with him not too much okay so close to matching his speed you see the car but the ultrasonics are not displayed on the dash going right going right no it's not doing that so yeah great uh, awesome so if I leave a little bit more room then it will eventually allow the lane change awesome so that means that it is improved a lot uh, compared to last year so now it is time again for another conclusion and I think it's a good one uh, because last year when we did this test uh, the cameras weren't used yet and when we taped off the ultrasonic sensors the car actually continued doing the lane change as if nothing was there which is not good because that created almost a collision so this is something that I mentioned at the end of that clip saying okay basically what I'm expecting is that someday we will use the cameras to do that and the cameras will help the auto lane change now what we noticed here is that if we tape off the cameras then the car is basically saying well I'm not doing the lane change anymore if we leave the cameras on and we tape off the ultrasonics then the car is basically blind on the ultrasonic side so it's not detecting the cars next to you anymore uh, not on the ultrasonics but it is still capable of doing the auto lane change and it is still capable of detecting a car next to you um, and the thing that impresses me most here is that it actually also detects the distance you need to be able to complete the lane change because when I kept it on and I continued to move forward then at a certain point the camera said well this is a safe distance and you can move over now and it was indeed a safe distance so even with one camera which is basically the front fender camera I think uh, that one will be able to judge the distance compared to the rest of the car to assess whether or not this is a safe distance to complete an auto lane change or to initiate an auto lane change um, i really like that because this is making things kind of foolproof right if snow or ice is covering your ultrasonics the camera still has your back and it will allow you to do the lane change if the camera is covered with mud with mud dirt or uh, anything else right then it basically tells you well I'm not doing the lane change anymore so either the lane change is now doing it all on the camera or it uses some assistance to some degree from the ultrasonics anyways um, whichever way you look at it this is now a huge improvement in the safety of the auto lane change and I really like that a lot so Thank you Tesla for implementing it this way, really like it. So I hope you guys liked the video as well. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel using the little uh, bell icon also so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.